What's going on everybody? I'm over here in Hartford, Connecticut. Beautiful Hartford. Pretty nice city, I guess. And uh been looking for loads, man. I ain't, I ain't seen nothing. Looks like I got stuck over here in Hartford. So I was staring at the phone for a few hours looking for loads, bidding and calling brokers and just ain't nothing shaking and uh missed a couple of good loads from shram logistics man the loads go quick they go quick so i was decided to get out the truck and do some walking i need to do that anyways man besides just getting lazy and being being lazy so walks ha has uh, brought me to so far. I probably shouldn't even be on this bridge, but I couldn't resist it. It's just the type of person that I am. I couldn't resist resist it. it look, a, that is a nice view of the city from right here. But uh, yeah, it's just trying to trying to stay healthy i guess try to stay positive I, I couldn't find no load so i was like you know what i i'm not i need i need to just get out of the truck and go take a walk and uh anyhow i see somebody walking down there hey so i don't think you're supposed to be on the tracks but all the all the way around in this area they got uh they got jogging trails on the sides of the levee so i already see a couple of relaxed folks i could tell they were jogging i mean you know trying to get some exercise walking and whatever but uh yeah besides being on the railroad tracks i, I think that i think that's kind of like what this what this area is meant to be like a kind of like a park but i crossed the bridge you can see now looking at the city from a different view same bridge right there it's a pretty big river right there got a platform with uh see these guide wires for the walk it was probably meant for maintenance people but uh on the other side they don't have nothing there ain't no kind of protection on this side This would be perfect, perfect, uh, perfect height to like, you know, do some diving. You know what I mean? Not too high. The water looks pretty clean too. It ain't nothing like the Trinity. It looks a lot cleaner. The banks look a, little, a lot more peaceful, look more peaceful than some other rivers. Oh, there's some people over there fishing. Wonder what they catch and probably catfish or something. But uh and y'all see all them trucks exiting or coming across the bridge over there at the Pride Travel Center right there. And then they got a levee on both sides of the river over there is downtown Hartford but a little spot where you can come and come and do some walking if you ever find yourself parked at the Pride Travel Center for centered in Hartford Connecticut got people that 
trails all, all through them woods that people walk. It looks kind of clean. It's like a clean, clean type place. It's not a like a nasty place that you might imagine that it would it, it would be. But uh. Got some people out there rowing. Yeah, but I had to get out the truck, man, because one thing I ain't gonna do, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna drive. I ain't gonna drive all the way to South Carolina for eight hundred dollars, man. I know. I know that. I know that there's better loads out there than that. I mean, the last, uh, at least last week there was. So, you know. I ain't gonna do that, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna drive to South Carolina for, for $800, man. Even, though, even if it is next day delivery. This is the ugly side, Hartford, Connecticut. That's a pretty talented graffiti artist. I didn't notice that rat the first time. Look at that. <laughs> that's actually that's like pretty good, pretty good artwork though. I have no idea what this stuff says or what it what it uh what it might represent, but I mean look at that. <laughs> that's pretty good. So I think I understand a little bit more better on how they do this. They've got rollers that they use. Not just spray, can spray paint in a can, but they roll. Like if you take a look at this piece, you can tell, or actually, if you take a look at that piece over there, you can you can tell that it's been rolled. You see that on the bottom, and I I think what they although like a, this piece right here, I think they'll they'll roll it roll this piece black, and then they'd come in with that white and do do whatever they're gonna do. But uh, nonetheless, I mean it, it's magnificent. It, it makes it. I mean it's. The site is just, I mean, I don't know. I, it looks nice. Oh, look, I just now noticed that. The, the rat trap. The rat trap, and then there's the rat. <laughs> it's kind of neat, man. I wonder what that H stands for. You see how the cheese is in the, probably, probably heroin, I guess. I don't know. That rat standing on top of all that cheese. Old rat got one, two rat traps.
Hey, what's up everybody, man? I'm over here, first time picking up a load at a Home Depot store. So, uh, yeah, it's first time doing that. They were turning back some old, some ice to the to this place. I guess, you know, the season's over with, they don't need it no more, so they were turning back some ice. But it's an Uber load, and uh, I looked up the delivery address, and they the delivery address is 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 a a, a place in in a, anyways the delivery address is like the headquarters of this place called Vaporizer, and uh, it can't accommodate it, it can't accommodate a truck. It can't it can't do it, and uh, and uh, I called the place and, and I couldn't get no answer. I sent an email to Vaporizer and then I called Uber and saying if they could confirm the delivery address and, and they said that, that that's the delivery address. So uh, oh, so I told y'all, I, I said, I, I, I'm not gonna run to South Carolina for $800. This load right here, I'll show you the load, but it, it, was, it, was, a, it, was, a, it was a 25 minute, deadhead from from where i was parked at at the hartford uh pride truck center over here to this pickup and now it's from from here it's 21 miles to the delivery paying close to what we'll, we'll see I, it's pay, paying close to 300 i'll show y'all but uh oh uh, hold on so here's the load that i'm talking about I started off in Hartford. This is where I'm at right now. You know, it's paying 361. It's got a 12, you know, a 12 noon delivery, same day. In uh, in uh, it's paying 361. So that's that's the load. I told y'all I'm not I'm not gonna run all the way to South Carolina or North Carolina for eight hundred dollars, man. I'll just I'll just do something like this until I get so anyways look check it out booked and then then and then later on today I got this load at 630 picking up delivering the next morning for 245 but it's only 21 miles so that's what we're doing right now but let, let me show y'all what this uh what this see look the address that they got the address that that uber's got is this one vaporizer let me show y'all look at this vaporizer ice melt they're, they're loading up they're fixing the load that home depot's fixing a load see that place ain't got no place that ain't that ain't no place for for no truck but Uber said it is. So, but if you check it out, if you check it out though, hold on. If you check it out, they got a plant right here. You see, they got a plant right there. So the red, that red's the plant right here is the headquarters. So I'm gonna have to go over here first, then make a fuss. Because I, you know. So anyways, this is the plant right here. This, I'm pre I'm like 99% sure this is where I'm supposed to be delivering at. You know. But they said it ain't, so. I'm just gonna try to get get some more money out of it, out the deal, man. Just that's that's what it is. That's what it's about. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Uber's saying that's the right. So anyways, I'm we're gonna go we're gonna go over there. I'm gonna go to that delivery, and then whenever I call Uber, I'm gonna tell Uber that they need more that 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 I need more money. I need more money because it's the wrong address. So, you know, it is what it is. Let me show y'all what the, hold on. So that, 
Vaporizer, they, they, they have two locations pretty close to one another. They're actually in different zip codes though. Uh, and I called Uber and I asked them, I said, man, can we get confirmation on the delivery address? And, and uh, they said, well, two, they said the, the, the one listed on the load information, that's the one you're supposed to go to. But I've called, I've looked at it on satellite and, and it's not a place that accommodates trucks. Uh, and, and then doing more research and I, I, they got the plant a little ways down the road. And uh, I looked at it and it, that's, it, it's the plant. I mean, you can see stuff like, see, see pallets like this at the plant. Whenever you look at the the satellite view of the of the one listed on the on the load info, that's like a, that's like a little office in, 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 right in the middle of town type stuff, you know. Uh, so whenever uh, whenever I do get there, I'm gonna call them back because I'm pretty sure that's not the address, man. And uh, I'm gonna call Uber back and be like, "Look, man, it's the wrong address. I, I try to tell y'all." Now y'all want to y'all we we're gonna have to re renegotiate a new rate, or I I just return it to the shipper. It's only 21 miles. I we just return it back to the shipper, you know. Or just you know what I mean? Shoot, it's not every day that something like this happens. So whenever it does happen, you gotta make them pay. You know what I mean? They ain't nothing. They ain't giving us nothing for free out here. You know, besides, I got another pickup. I got another pickup later on today. I can't be going to the wrong address, you know, uh, it, it, for free. You crazy, man. It's the thing. I got to pay insurance. I got to pay diesel, man. I got, I got all kinds of other uh, expenses that I got to take care of, man. It's, you know, this ain't no, there ain't no freebie out here. Take a look at it. Uh, my next load, the one that picks up at 6:30. That's a 21 mile load. It's paying 2.45. You know. So this late, it, 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 if they start acting funny, it, look, let me tell you, if they start acting funny on this, on this load, with this wrong address. Lay, layover, layover pay is, 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 is just, it's just $45 less than what my next load's paying. So, you know, in a way I, you can say, I, I'm not, I'm not worried about nothing. You know, they can play it, they can, I'm not worried about nothing. They can play it however they want to play it, really. But I know one thing, I'm going to push the issue and I'm going to, I'm going to make them, I, I'm going to, they're going to have to pay for this mistake. I know that. No. All right, we loaded up. We hit now 31 minutes away, 21 miles. The BOL's got the playing field. The playing field uh, <coughs> address. The, the 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 address that has like the warehouse. That's what's on the BOL, so I, I, I was right. And uh, but you know I'm I'm still going to 245 because because for one, you know you don't always go by what's on the BOL. You go by what's on the load info. You know. And uh, and for two, for two. I, uh, I, you know, I already called Uber and, and told them about this issue, and, and they they told me that that the that that the the what's on the load info is is the address that this place needs to be going to, and uh, so so I'm gonna go to the address even though I know it's not the right address, and then whenever I get there, I'm gonna call Uber and I'm gonna tell them, you know. That is the wrong address, and that I need some damn. I need. I need some more money. That's basically what it is. What it, that's. 
and I hope to do I hope to do that as quickly as possible. You know. So I'm at the place. I knew it was the wrong place. I knew it wasn't the right place. But I had to come here and go through the motions of going through this. And uh, so so that way I can I can get some more money out of Uber, you know. Besides, y'all know that's how it is a lot of times anyways. What's, what's listed on the BOLs, lots of times that's not that's not that that's that's not where you where you, you actually deliver the load. So they added $50 to the load. So that's gonna be that's gonna be four like four eleven for that load. But you know, I had to go through the motions of actually doing of actually going through the uh going to the to the wrong address, even though I knew it was the wrong address. I had to go through the motions and I had to call and that and play dumb basically and act like I didn't know shit. Act like I was just figuring this this stuff out as I had, you know, uh, had, you know, even though I already knew what was going on before I even got there, you know, because I check stuff like that. You know what I mean? Especially, you know, especially, you know, me picking up a load at a new place or like a Home Depot place, they don't, I mean, that's not a regular shipper. And then, and then up in the northeast, it's good to always check, check your, your, check your, uh, your deliveries. You know, that's just a good practice. But I had to go through the motions, man, and I and I drove to the place. And then whenever I got there, I hit the button saying arrived at delivery. So. I'm driving, they added 50 more dollars to, uh, 50 more dollars to the, to the, uh, to the Raycon, and I'm, I, and I'm, I'm three miles away, I mean, three, yeah, three miles away from the, from the real delivery, so I'm gonna fix and go there, man, get, go there and get, get unloaded, and then, and then, uh, after that, I'm gonna be heading back to, to, uh, Hartford area, actually Bloomfield, pick up a load, and then take that 20 miles down, uh, and deliver that first thing in the morning to uh, a Sam store. So you know those are pretty quick deliveries, man. But I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all what my loads are. Like I said, I'm not gonna run from Hartford down to 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 South Carolina for eight nine hundred dollars man sit not sit on the low for two days I'm not gonna do that man I'll, I'll, I'll stay where I'm at and do shit and do stuff like this before I do that man you know so you know got my like what I the, the lows I showed y'all last time like I'll run from Connecticut to Virginia, man, for a thousand dollars next day delivery, you know. But, but I'm not gonna run from Hartford, man, down to 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 down into mid North Carolina or you know South Car mid or mid or South Carolina for for eight eight hundred dollars, man. I'm not gonna do that, man. I just, I'm not gonna do it. But whenever I see a next day delivery, man, and it's paying over a thousand dollars, paying a thousand dollars, paying close to a thousand dollars, and you know it, and it ain't just ain't, you know, I'll do it. I'll do it, man. If I have to drive at night, man, to beat beat DC traffic, beat Baltimore traffic, I'll do that. But man, just taking these these loads, what these what these brokers got booked, man, like a dummy. I just I I, I do I, I I I do what I'm what I'm doing right now, you know. So anyhow, it is what it is, man. So it's the same load, 
but they just increased it. They added fifty dollars to it. So this right here was my pickup at Home Depot. So after I finish with this, I'm fixing the deadhead back to Hartford. And uh, I'm gonna get this load. I'm gonna get this one. And it's a 21 mile load after a 62 mile deadhead. And then a 21 mile load, I'm gonna be delivering in the morning time at a Sam's Club, a store. So you know those can those lots of times you can those can be uh pretty quick, you know. And uh I probably end up just parking at the Sam's too, you know. Lots of times you you can park at it, you can kind of get away sometimes parking at a at a at a Sam's Club or Walmart. But you can especially get away with parking at one if if uh if uh you know you got a you got a delivery there too. So I'm gonna go pick up this load. I'm gonna go pick this load up. See, originally, originally, look, they originally that load was 361. But with it because of that mess up, they added added that $50 is 411. So, and then I'm gonna pick pick this load up. And then uh deliver that in the morning. So y'all see that? Let's see that. Hold on. Clear 411 plus 245 that's 656 right there and I ain't done I ain't done done a whole lot of driving so before I before I drive before I drive all the way down from 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 Hartford all the way down to to North Carolina uh, you know Durham or Riley for eight hundred dollars I'll do I'll do stuff like this, man. I'm not, you know what I mean. So it is what it is, man. And I was whenever I bid on loads, man. I just I don't know, man. It's I just I guess I'm I I'm I mean I. I don't know how to say it, but I mean, I just wish everybody that every everybody that like whenever I bid, man, I bid like two hundred fifty to two hundred dollars more than whatever they're posting, man. You know, I, I don't even. I, 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 lots of times I don't even calculate. I don't even calculate what the what, what the rate per mile is and that. Like, man, I just put I, I put two hundred fifty more more than whatever they're posting. You know, but. I've I run stuff like this, man. Before I run, before In 400 I. 400 feet, turn left onto Lathrop Road extension. Before I run to, uh, you know, North Carolina from Hartford, Connecticut for eight hundred, eight hundred dollars. So. We at the right spot. No. They returning this stuff from Home Depot. They didn't need that much salt this season. And uh it is what it is, man.